Japan issued its first ever mega quake warning on 9th August after a 7.1 earthquake struck the Kyushu Island in the south of the country. Hello and welcome to The Print. Today on Pure Science, we will discuss what are mega quakes, how they occur and why Japan is specifically prone to these geological events. On 8th August, an earthquake hit near the Miyazaki Prefecture in Japan's Kyushu Island. According to initial reports, no casualties or major damages have been reported. However, the Japan Meteorological Agency had issued warnings to all major industries including power plants and also issued a tsunami warning for the Pacific coast. The Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida even cancelled his travel plans to Central Asia post the earthquake. Also, the JMA, for the first time ever, issued a warning and advisory for a mega quake saying that the probability of a great earthquake in the Nankai Trao is higher than ever before. Mega earthquakes are essentially very large earthquakes on the Earth's surface, measuring 8 or higher on the Richter scale. The reason there's a mega quake warning in the Nankai Trao is also because of its specific location in a subduction zone of the Philippine Sea Plate and the Amurian Plate. All earthquakes, as we know, are caused by tectonic plate activity. However, these activities are of different types and magnitudes based on the faults where they occur. Faults are the regions where two tectonic plates interact. They are mainly of three types. One is a normal fault where the top plate moves downwards. Second is a reverse fault where the top plate moves upwards. And the third is a strike-slip fault where the two plates slide past each other. Subduction zones are formed in areas where reverse faults occur. As the convergence of two tectonic plates along a reverse fault leads to a subduction force. One plate is essentially forced downwards or subducted into the mantle while the other rises. An earthquake occurs when either of these plates slip. In the Nankai Tro, the Philippine plate is forced downwards by the Amurian plate, thus causing the formation of a zone that is prone to cause large earthquakes because of the immense energy that a subduction zone holds. Earthquakes caused in subduction zones are called mega thrust earthquakes because the fault that separates tectonic plates in a subduction zone is named a mega thrust. The zone is so powerful that most of the world's strongest and most devastating earthquakes have been mega thrust earthquakes. There are a number of subduction zones around the world which are colloquially called the Ring of Fire. These occur around the Pacific Oceans in locations including Russia, New Zealand, Alaska, Japan, Indonesia and even Washington state in the US. Even the 9 magnitude earthquake that struck Japan in 2011 was a mega thrust earthquake. Why has the Japanese Meteorological Agency issued a warning for a mega earthquake in the true? Well, according to Reuters, after the earthquake near Miyazaki, the JMA said that the risk of a bigger earthquake striking is much higher and the next earthquake in the Nankai Tro could be 9.1 or higher in scale. It is imperative to understand that earthquakes, be it in subduction zones or anywhere else, cannot be predicted accurately yet. But scientists and geologists have studied historical earthquakes and especially the faulting behavior of tectonic plates to assess what is the seismic hazard and what is the risk of mega quakes specifically around subduction zones. There is a process used by the JMA to forecast the possibility of future mega earthquakes using the tectonic plate movement around Japan. A paper that was published by the Royal Society shows how the rate of subduction of the Philippines plate under the Amurian plate has been calculated at 4 to 7 cm per year. Now, this subduction causes strain to accumulate along the plate boundaries. And earthquakes are a result of the sudden release of the strain when two plates slip. Now, Scientists have been able to calculate that for any mega earthquake, that is for any earthquake above 8 magnitude to occur, the slip in the plates will have to be of several meters. To accumulate that kind of strain that causes a mega quake, there would have to be plate activity over several decades. This is what forms the basis of the mega quake forecasting method. Currently, the Japanese government said that the great earthquakes in the Nankai Tro have a 70% possibility of occurring in the next 30 years. But 
sudden tectonic activity like the 7.1 magnitude earthquake that just occurred on 8th August has an effect on these forecasts and it calls for renewed prediction of the next mega quake. It was taking that into account that the GMA announced the first ever advisory about the mega quake in the Nankai Tro. Also taking into account the fact that the last mega quake in the Tro was around 70 years ago in 1947. While the authorities issued the warning for one week, they also emphasized the unpredictable nature of earthquakes and the fact that mega quakes could happen even after a particular warning period. This is Akanksha Mishra. For more such analysis, follow the print on our social media.